Avenue Southeast. Hello, everybody. Welcome to Pella. So, we're in Georgia, right outside of Albany. This town is predominantly African American, but it's named after a Confederate something. The population here dropped 10% in the last census. That is incredibly bad. In 2020 census, they lost population. They lost 10% of the population. That's not a good sign. So we're going to find out why this town is losing population. Um, that's never good. A town should never be losing 10% of its population. It should be growing. But unfortunately, the situation here in this South Georgia town is that they're losing population. It's named after some Confederate something from Alabama, even though it's in Georgia, so that's the first problem. I would start off by naming it after something that's Georgia, not naming your town after Alabama. I think the moment you named your town after Alabama, you made a huge mistake right there in Georgia. You're better than Alabama. You can do better than Alabama. Road tide, no road tiding around here. It's all about the bulldogs. But let's take a ride through here and see uh, what's going on in this town. Take a left at this uh, right here. Whatever the crap this is. Take a left here. But definitely not good to lose 10% of your population. Someone hit the fire hydrant. Yeah, apparently. Wow. That is a bad statistic. Keep going straight? Mm-hmm. Okay. You know what this town reminds me of? Misery? Well, yeah. It's a pothole you're probably right I in. know. Remember that one town where they still had the hitching posts for the horses? Can't remember. Augusta, Georgia? I don't think it was Augusta. It was a small town. Can't remember. Pavo? Possibly. I don't remember who's in Alabama or Florida or Texas. Look how much Texas. trash is behind that house. Wow. Unbelievable. There's people going into that house, too. Yeah. What? Little kids and stuff, too. That abandoned. I know. Oh, my gosh. Can you imagine living like that? That house literally looks abandoned, and a guy's just walking in with a kid. Yeah. Can you imagine living like that? Mm-hmm. Wow. Wow. Dude, this town is in rough shape. Take a Take it right here. Well, watch out for this pothole, bro. So there's like giant potholes. Okay. I can't believe people are living in these houses. Go real slow. Yeah. Did you see how bad that house was? And there's yeah. somebody literally going in there with a kid? Yep. Poverty, bro. Lots of poverty. This is definitely like the deep south here. Dirty south all the way through. There's Big Wiggly over there. Piggly, wiggly, 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 wiggly. Piggly, That's why I like going through the south. You get the Piggly Wiggly song. Okay. I like your sandwich. My type of pickles. Piggly, wiggly, 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 wiggly,
roof here. Beautiful mural here. I think they're town, downtown's this little area here. Uh, do you want me to turn? Yeah, yeah take a left. Take a left? Mm -hmm. That car doesn't have a stop sign. It does? No, the one over here. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> not, she's like, no, I'm okay. I'm like, no, that's <laughs> it's not the, uh, when you enter it, it's, yeah. She's like, no, we'll be okay. I'm like, no, you won't be okay. Look at the hot dog mural. <laughs> Can you believe that? A hot dog mural? There's two popcorn things looking at a hot dog. If that's not the most suggestive thing I've ever seen, I don't know what is. So you can take a right up at that church. That church street? I love how you did not see the entire van coming at you. I'm like, good thing I warned you. Yeah. So this is a highly rated restaurant. Oh my gosh, they're wearing red Alabama stuff. Ugh. Well, the town's named after Alabama. Let's take it right here. <laughs> how do you not see that giant van? Good thing I noticed it. I was like, I think Katie's going to crash into the... You have a green light. Yes. I was like, Katie is probably going to crash into this car. Let me just warn her just in case. Sure enough, she was definitely planning on ramming into this van. It's like your brain could only process that there was one car. You saw one car, you're like, well, here's one car. That's all my brain can focus on. Okay, you can either go to Hopeful or to Pelham. Oh. Take a right here. Okay. I, I think I'll wait to figure out what they're doing. They have some clunkers in this town. Yeah. A truck, what is wrong with it? It's like the whole thing is twisted. Yeah. And they're out so far, I can't figure out if I can go. You can go, you're in this way. How are you to the poverty, man? Yeah. Most were convertible. I've never seen one that wasn't a convertible. Like the one that wasn't. Is that what I think it is? Go real slow. Is that what I think it is right there? There's a lot of children out here. Yeah, there are. Is that an Impala? Mm -hmm. Impala to your olive, man. Pretty sure we can leave her and take a left. A left. Yeah, we should probably open this down. <laughs> There's not much to see here. Yeah. They have a huddle house on the outskirts. Even the huddle house, like, we're just gonna stay on the outskirts. We don't even want to be in the middle of this mess. They have a Hardee's in a huddle house. Oh, that's a car. They have a Huddles and a Hardee's. Uh, they grab like the two nastiest restaurants in America. <laughs> you imagine a town that's losing population, they have a Hardee's and a... Like, let's just like, bad things intensifies. <laughs> they go to Huddle House. Well, bless their heart, man. They got a Hardee's and a Huddle House. It's like a Waffle House. Uh, no, it's not. But it's like higher quality. I've never been to one. Okay. I would eat at a Waffle House. What? I think that's my like guilty pleasure. You ever have like a guilty trashy pleasure? <laughs> like you ever do something that's like you know it's trashy but you're still doing it? Me going to Waffle House. I think we all have guilty pleasures. <laughs> like for me, it's going definitely going to a Waffle House. I would never go to a Hardee's though. And we actually don't go to Waffle House that often. No, like only like when there's a hurricane or something, like you don't have any other choice. Wow, this is ugly. Or like everything is closed. You have to go there. It's either there or McDonald's and you're not feeling that. How do they even stay in business? Like, how do you stay in business when your food is known to suck? That's what I don't get. Like, how is Arby's, Hardee's, and Huddle House still even a thing in America? Arby's is awesome. I don't know you. I like 
like Arby's. Can I take it right here? Take it right here. Well, it's like people who like hot, like, uh, uh, don't hit the curb though, but yeah. It's like people in Ohio put tartar sauce on everything. I just because people. Tartar sauce on fish. Yeah, but they put tartar sauce on everything. Just because people do it doesn't mean it's good. Yeah, like, tartar sauce belongs on fish. Fish belongs away from tartar sauce. I think fish belongs away from people from Ohio. How about that? Like, if they, if you're going to grab something and, and, and misbehave with it so badly, maybe you just shouldn't even be allowed to be around it. And I, I, the way I feel is, if you're going to disrespect... I miss fish if you're gonna, Fridays. If you're gonna disrespect fish by putting tartar sauce on it, then maybe like you're not mature enough to be around fish. Maybe it's just fish wasn't meant for you. Make a left here? Yeah, so they had a tornado come through here. Mm -hmm. Oh, well, like those yeah. type of houses? Yeah, they had a tornado come through there. Yeah. All of a sudden there's like tornado damage right there for no reason. Whoever designed this road, unbelievable. Literally, uh, to the right, you can't see anything coming because it's on a slope on a hill. So if you're crossing this intersection, you can't see what's coming out. You better go fast because it's going to mm -hmm. And stuff. Yeah. Come in, look. And there's your huddle house. Yeah. 
neither of them. Neither of them. Yeah. 